buy a fresh Christmas tree, you know, check to see if it's fresh in the first place. Uh, give it a few shakes, make sure no needles fall off. Um, when you get your tree home, it's a good idea to lob off the uh, bottom part and on the, on the trunk. So, and it will absorb the water better. Uh, of course, obviously keeping it water, don't put it near any heat sources like a fireplace um, a vent or a heater. Um, you know, turn your lights off before you leave the home or go to bed. Other fire safety things to remember, you know, load all candles and put them near combustibles as well. Um, you can also think about when you're cooking, you know, to pay attention when you're cooking. Number one cause of home fires is unattended cooking, so if you watch what you heat, that would be, you know, the candles or your cooking or even uh, something you have in the, mi the microwave. So there's a few, few fire safety tips to remember. And most important is to have working smoke alarms in your home. So if something does happen that uh, you're aware of the problem right away and that you and your family, whoever is in your home, uh, discuss uh, escape planning and need, need spot. Now, is this uh, one of the worst times of year for fires? Um, it's up there, I think, because people are so busy um, and with preparing for Christmas and uh, multitasking and uh, the candle burning now as it wouldn't be for more cooking in the kitchen. So uh, drinking and cooking, all these things go along with uh, making it a little, a little more unsafe during this time of year for fires. Could you stand on this side? Okay, Joe, I'm coming in for a tight one. back there. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> Maybe hit it with a fire extinguisher. That might make a good shot too.